نبدأ في Operating System Concepts and Security Computer Model هذا Van Newman Architecture بس إنه CPU talks to and receives from control bus apparently it talks to or points to the address bus I don't know why and it talks to but receives from the data bus talks to and receive the memory talks to and receives from the control bus but only receives from the address bus and the memory talks to and receives from the data bus so input iPod receives and takes in from all had a been semi system bus okay CAD نتذكر فيها control address data وعنا data it gives to the memory but takes from the CPU okay so احنا يعني الدكتور كان بيحكي بالصف انه احنا we're dealing with the memory 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 but we don't really care about the CPU it's just a dummy right okay a computer model oh you can he meant that because we're studying the security let's see the computer model is an operating system has to deal with the fact that a computer is made up of a CPU RAM input output devices and some long-term storage Operating system provides interface between user and the uh, hardware, and it manages the way applications access the resources in the computer, like the drive and the main memory, input devices, and the network interface. Operating system manages multiple users and manages multiple programs. Okay, it has the ability to multitask. Uh, how does it do that? Uh, because this, uh, because it is really fast. The CPU is running so fast at uh, uh, light speed. So it looks like it's multitasking, but really what it does is just execute this, then pause, then execute this, then pause, then execute this, then pause. إحنا بنحس إنه it's executing all at the same time. And now many computers have more than one CPU, so. Anyway, um, the kernel is the core component of the operating system. So, the kernel is the core component of the operating system. Okay, and yeah, this is the core of the operating system. We are in the user space always. And... Um, handles the management of low-level hardware resources like memory, processes, and input-output devices. Processors, sorry. Okay, and the input-output devices are the keyboard, mouse, video display, network card, well, uh, so other services like the scanner, Wi-Fi, video camera, USB, and audio card. يا رب يكون شرحي واضح وندرس مع بعض بسلاسة وفهم وأشياء كويسة Input Output Device عنا ال Device Driver Encapsulates the details of how interaction with that device should be done Okay, what does this mean? Application Programmer Interface ال API is the device Drivers present to application programs allows application programs to interact with devices at a fairly high level while the operating system does the heavy lifting of performing that low level interaction that makes such devices actually work. Okay, so ايش هو ال device driver خلينا نشوف
All right, so it's a group of files that enable hardware devices to communicate with computer's operating system. All right, so API, uh, which the drive uh, device drivers present to application programs. اوكي خلينا نشوف الصورة عندنا الابلكيشن بعدين عندنا اليوزر درايفر يوزر مود وهذا الكيرنل مود سو الديفايس درايفر انكابسوليتس ذا ديتيلز اوف هاو انتراكشن وذ ذات ديفايس شود بي اوكي سو ذس وان ات هاز اول ذا ديتيلز اوف هاو Uh, anything should uh, work with it. يعني if you buy, يعني you can't bypass the instructions of it. Instructions, I mean the details. يا رب يكون صح. Okay. System calls. Uh, user applications don't communicate directly with low-level hardware components and instead delegates, delegates such tasks to the kernel via system calls. So a system calls will be going between a user application and the low-level hardware. System calls usually have root privilege that user calls do not have. Thus, user codes have to call system calls to access input, output, or others. Make sense. يعني أنا هلا في user application أنا ما بروح بكتب zero one zero one والكمبيوتر بفهم علي إيش لازم يسوي لا أنا بحكي لل system call مثلا بطريقة يعني أنا بقدر أفهمها والsystem call بيحكي هو مع ال low level hardware يعني زي زي بيحول ال high level code ل low level اشي زي هيك difference between API and system call okay so system calls are provided by OS kernels system calls are usually implemented via software interrupt low level handling some assembler requests system calls are the bridge between user code and OS kernel code user code can only use system codes calls to access privileged services or OS kernels API are available code blocks that users can use directly to facilitate programming but are not essential Alright, خلينا نشوف نوتاتي. ما لقيت النوتات ب يعني بس اللي أنا بتذكره إنه الدكتور حكى إنه ال API are not essential. بس ال O ال system call is essential. يعني مستحيل نقدر نشتغل على كمبيوتر بدون السيستم كول بس ال API it's like some code I can execute but I cannot bypass the low level code the instructions the details يعني هنا it says that uh, uh, that the device driver encapsulates the details of how interaction with that device should be done. The API cannot bypass this. The system calls, يعني I can ask the system call مثلا, to open a file, and this file could be a root privilege. So I am like uh, invading the, the uh, invading the low level stuff. But the API cannot. يا رب أكون صح عن جد أنا ناسي الشرح. Oh my God. اسمع في وقت. Applications are program 
designed to perform a group of coordinated functions, tasks, or activities to benefit the user. Process is uh, an instance of a program that is currently executing. In order to be executed, it must be in the RAM and identified as a process. Multiple copies of the same program can be run as different processes. Right, okay. Process IDs. Each process running on a given computer is identified by a unique non-negative integer called the process ID, PID. Given the PID for a process, we can then associate its CPU memory time, memory usage, user ID, UID, and program name, etc. Okay, so I know how to be ID number, يعني. Okay, checking process in Unix machine. Uh, I don't know what is a Unix machine. Okay, and a PS command listing processes running. PS dash AUX list all user processes may reveal private information of others. Top command display top CPU processes. Top A list top processes from all users. PS3 command shows running processes as a tree. Process privileges. User ID identify the user associated with the process and the group ID identify a group of users associated with the process. Effective user ID determines the current privilege of the running process and can set to be higher than UID in order to have permission to access OS kernel data or services. File system is an abstraction of how the external non-volatile memory of the computer is organized. Okay. يعني إحنا لما نسيف فايل الكمبيوتر عشان يقدر يلاقي الفايل بيكون عنا like files file system they are organized in files as a tree and it is organized hierarchically to dictionaries or folders contains subfolders for your drive consists of a collection of nested folders that form a tree the topmost is the root of this tree and is also called the root folder had an example file permissions file permissions are checked by the operating system to determine if a file is readable writable executable Okay, Unix-like OS file permission matrix shows how who is allowed. Files have owner permissions, which show what the owner can do, and group permissions, which show what some group ID can do, and world permissions, which give default access rights. All right, so allows you to enter the directory CD command. However, you're not allowed to list its contents unless you ha you also have the read permission to the directory. هنا بقولنا إنه بنقدر نعمل edit. وهنا عندنا memory management uh, RAM memory of a computer is its address space it contains both the code for running a program and its input data and its working memory for any running process it is organized into different segments which keep the different 
parts of the address space separate. As we will discuss, security concerns require that we never mix up these different segments. Okay, so Anna, uh, each process window segment, a different segment. For the for RAM memory, يعني مجزأ. أنا هذا اللي فهمته إنه مجزأ ولازم الأجزاء ما تتداخل ببعض أبدا. لأنه هاي عنا security concern. Okay, memory organization. أول إشي عنا text اللي هو بي بيحمل الكود low level low level code. This segment contains the actually binary machine code. Data. بعد بيصير بيجي data. This segment contains a static program. Variables that have been un in قصدي been initialized in the program code. يعني مثلا يعني the data contains initialized data or variables. Okay. BSS on هادي Okay, مش مهم. This segment, which is named for an antiquated acronym, antiquated, antiquated, شو هاي? Outdated uh, acronym for block started by simple. Contains static variables that are uninitialized. Lheap. which is also known as the dynamic segment stores data generated during the execution of a process. The heap stores data during execution of process. The stack uh, high dynamic, okay? A stack. This segment houses a stack data structure that grows downward. So the stack grows down, or it keeps track of the call structure of subroutes, subroutines. Often keeps track of call. structure and their arguments methods in java and functions in c i think لازم نحفظ هاي انا شوي اوكي سو عندنا اول شيء التكست قلنا هاي الماشين كود بعدين عندنا الداتا اللي فيها انيشلايز داتا ال ال إشي سيمبل صح؟ بلوك ستارتد باي سيمبل هذه فيها ان انيشلايز داتا الدايناميك اللي هي الهيب بالصورة it grows upward and it has the ال During execution of a process, this which we all know then uh, stores data generated during execution of a process. Hi, uh, it grows upward during execution of a process. Will stack grows downward. تحمل uh, functions of uh, C and the methods of Java, صح? Uh, houses a stack of data structure that grows downwards and is used for keeping track of call structure of subroutines. Can we search this? Call stack is used for having to keep track of the point to which each active subroutine should return control when it finishes execution. 
I think the return address بيكون بالستاك والله أعلم عن جد أنا ناسي اوكي ال virtual memory هو ال الرام اوكي هلا لو عندنا بروجرام كتير ضخم مثلا بروجرام تمانية جيجا والرام بس أربعة جيجا ف what does it do it executes the first four four جيجا رام بعدين it stores the other in the hard disk ف it keeps executing 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 until it reach to the نمبر 5 جيجا نمبر 5 فبيروح ايش بيسوي الرام بيحكي اوكي اي ويل بوت ذا فيرست جيجا بالهارد ديسك انا ويل فيتش ذا نمبر 5 ان اكسكيوتد فهذه بنسميها فيرتشوال ميموري يعني انا بس عندي 4 جيجا بس عندي 4 جيجا بس لكن ات سيمز اس اف اي ام اكسكيوتينج ا بروجرام ويتش هاز 8 جيجا So, من سميها virtual memory يعني it's real, it's not real memory. This is generally not enough memory. There is generally not enough memory for all processes. But the OS gives each running process the illusion it has contiguous address space. The view is virtual in that the OS supports this view, but is not really how the memory is organized. هذا هو اللي احنا بنشوفه وهذا اللي stored in the disk اللي احنا ما بنشوفه it cannot execute لانه احنا درسنا من قبل انه the program can only execute inside the RAM وهذا ال virtual يعني احنا we're executing all of this بس only in this memory simply by يعني putting one here and executing this then هيك يعني نعمل زي switching so the memory is divided into pages then the OS keeps track of which ones are in memory and which ones are stored in the disk اوكي هلا الدكتور حيحكي لنا اشرحي لنا البيج فولت البيج فولت خلنا نشرحها فيديو تاني 